Hello. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's uh, contributed to the GoFundMe. Uh, it was set up by uh, Sarah Miller and Gia Nisi. They are very good friends um, of my wife, Shannon. You know, this was absolutely unexpected, and they just did this. It was so nice. Uh, so many thanks to them. Every dollar that was raised will, will really help. We're using the money for a variety of different purposes, from medical expenses. Yes, of course, we have some insurance coverages. However, there are some that are our responsibility. Um, you know, commuting um, to MD Anderson, it's in Houston, uh, for a variety of appointments and tests. Um, I have to stay at hotels there occasionally. Sometimes I need some self-care because there's a, a lot of pain all through my body uh, from the cancer being spread. And I need to rest. Uh, also have uh, some mental uh, breaks as well. A variety of activities are used to help my family uh, enjoy this time together and take this time that we have together. Also to uh, help disconnect from the fight and take some breaks. Um, also, um, you know, it'll help with food supplements um, and other sort of healthy uh, food that I'm using as well. I get a whole lot of other uh, items were used, but again, thank you so very much. Unfortunately, um, throughout this fight, uh, this fight with cancer, uh, two surgeries, two rounds of chemo, uh, I was just informed that um, I have about six to eight months to live. I, I'm just not sure. Um, of course, I'm heartbroken. And the reason is I, I want to do everything I can to be with my family, my two boys who are two and four, and my wife. I can't imagine leaving them alone. I want to do everything I can to stay and be positive. I'm positive the trial will work. I just started uh, the trial last week. I have two different uh, chemo medications I'm taking on a daily basis. Uh, the study shows it does have some hope. There's some positivity there, depending on how my body responds to it. Uh, we'll see if it works or not. We'll know in about two months' time, and we're very hopeful. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Uh, by the way, um, my wife, if it wasn't for Shannon... I wouldn't be uh, part of this trial. And the reason is she uh, called in to make an appointment with uh, MD Anderson. And they said, oh, we won't take new patients who live uh, outside of 150 miles from MD Anderson. We live 180 miles. Uh, we live in Austin. And so she fought and fought and advocated for, you know, it was an hour on the phone and wouldn't take no for an answer. And said, please talk to the doctor. And so they did so. And uh, we got a phone call and saying, yes, we've accepted you uh, as a special exception. So quite relieving that happened. So I do have hope. Again, we'll share more additional updates as time goes on. Uh, right now, I'm working on organizing a variety of videos and also uh, other information. Uh, we'll set up something to all of you. You can keep, a, keep posted and keep updated on how things are going to know what the latest is. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Again, uh, so many thanks for your support, your thoughts, your prayers, your encouragement, your positive thoughts. It just is so inspirational to see everyone coming together to rally for us. I love you all. Thank you.